Hello, my name is Billy Henry. Most people just call me coach. I'd like to tell you a story about a football team, but not just any team. When you take the bonds of brotherhood, the support of friends and family, the United States Armed Forces, and American football and put that on the island of Guam, you get the story of the legendary Guam High School Dirty 30 Panther football team. Guam High School opened up in 1997 for military dependents stationed on the island of Guam. In 2007, the school moved from its old location in Nimitz Hill to Aganya Heights, where the school would have its own football field. But in 13 years since opening, the school had never came close to the interscholastic all-island championship football game. Until the fall of 2010, it was my second year as head coach, and I believe that this would be our year. Lucky for us, less parents PCSing meant more returning football players and also more seniors anxious to make their last statement in their final season of high school football. I told the students I would only take 30 young men for the team, so every player came to tryouts hungry for a position and would fight to keep it. And this year our offense had it all, from the line to skilled positions, with Paul Floyd at quarterback whose statistics seemed otherworldly, and all-American wide receiver Devon Jacobs, also at wide receiver, Matthew Eaton, standing at 6'3", only a freshman. DJ Little Hercules Cruz at halfback. And freshman Tegan Brown at fullback. Though an offense may score the points, a defense wins championships. And that year, our defense was filled with monsters. And a few little guys with a Napoleon complex that made them ten times meaner than any other player on the field. They took charge of the field, and cliche to say they played every game like it was their last, and every quarter is that the score was still 0-0, zero to zero, because for some of these players, like the seniors, it was their last chance to play the game of football. We started the season off strong. We shut down all our opponents, and we even trashed the previous season's champions, the George Washington Geckos, beating them 32-0. to zero. We seemed unbeatable. People even called us scary good. The only team standing in our way in the regular season was our rival team, the Father Duenas Friars. In the previous season, they beat us in the semifinals, keeping us from going to the championship game. And this season, they're the only thing keeping us from going undefeated. It was a wet game. Both us and the Friars struggled to maintain control of the ball. They would fumble. We would fumble. They would score. We would score. Both us and the people in the stands were left in suspense. The game would be decided in overtime. And in a dive play for eight yards, Tegan Brown ran in for the last touchdown of the game, and we prevailed. My boys were happy, and so was I. But the way these boys played wasn't just from the game and the practices, but it was the friendship and the brotherhood that was established that made them play with such tenacity. We ended the regular season in first place, and the only thing left for us to do was to win a championship. We would be facing off once again with the George Washington Geckos, except this time, they knew better. This was nothing like the regular season game we played with them earlier that year. Both defenses fought relentlessly. Most of the game went scoreless until the Geckos threw a touchdown pass in the first half. But failing to make a two-point conversion, my boys were only six points behind. And in the second half, we answered with a touchdown pass from Paul Floyd to Devon Jacobs. DJ kicked the extra point, making the score seven to six. We were winning by one point. And in the last minute of the game, the Geckos had possession of the ball. But an attempt at a touchdown pass resulted in an interception by Devon Jacobs, which sealed the win. The only thing left for us to do was take a knee. The boys instantly began to celebrate on the field. They were champions, Guam High School's first champions. We showed respect to the team that we only beat by one point and we celebrated. This was a championship. This was a championship I shared with my players, I shared with my coaches, and this was a championship that I shared with my family. The end.